So what we've got here, this is our um, honey spinner. Now, Marcus Smith kindly lent us his one last year, but that was built the, the same day that they signed the Treaty of Waitangi. Um, it was unbelievably quite slow, and a bit of a standing joke. So it would take us, um, take us about two and a half days to process the honey, and by then the loyalty of friends and family has worn off. And it was just John Newland and I working late on Sunday night on our own. So we um, found this on Trade Me. This is a Chinese ripoff of a lovely French unit. So we got this, um, yeah, it's great. So you can see we put the frames in. It's electric, whereas the other one was a hand crank. So it's pretty cool. And we've just, so the honey goes, so we spin it, honey goes in and then comes out to the bucket. So we'll give this a whirl in a minute. So we're, yeah, we're quite excited. We're hoping it'll cut down the, um, the you know, length of the spinning time will equal the loyalty of you know, friends and staff. And can... God, that's hard. Yeah. Is that enough? That'll do. I'll just drop it into the spinner. I'll just keep it back on the stick. Drop it. Yeah, my jingle stick. Okay, can you see the honey spinning around? Now don't put your hands up. But can you see the honey spinning and spitting out? See the honey spitting out on the side? And it's stainless steel, and the honey will all run down the bottom to the tap into our bucket. So we'll really crank it up. Perfect. 